Hello. Parler du football club Barcelone pendant 10 minutes. Talking about football club Barcelona for 10 minutes foot, without talking about foot, football. Défi. It's going to be a challenge. Vous expliquer and explaining to you and make you understand the expression Mes club, Mes club, club more than a club. Mon défi. That's my second challenge. Résoudre le problème des réfugiés. And solving the problem of refugees. C'est un rêve. Comme it's a rêve. dream. C'est imaginer pouvoir guérir Namely, tous les enfants de Namely, thinking that we can heal all de the children. De la fondation du Football Club Barcelone. The Football Club Barcelona On Foundation. Uh, houses working des enfants. Des enfants on with four children in the world. Des qui pas eu la children who On were not lucky. Dans pays. We work in 53 countries. Pour plus million 60 000 For more than 1,160,000 beneficiaries. Pour faire les rêves and we work réalité. to make a reality out of these dreams. Without being pretentious, Avec les couleurs de nos maillots, with the colors of our t-shirts, the joueurs, image of our football players, des sensations, sensations and feelings, des émotions, emotions, on est de we are able un to prepare efficace. some kind of efficient medicine. Et là, je vais vous le comment. And I'm going to show you how. Plus qu'un club. We're more than a club. Date de 1968, this expression dates back to 1968. At the time, the president of Barça, Mr. Miro Sanz, a pronounce ces mots pronounced these words une étape difficile en Espagne, at a diffi la difficult milestone Franco. under the dictatorship of Franco. On avait pas de liberté. We didn't have freedom. Everything, it was prohibited, forbidden to talk about Catalonia, to take a flag and say, hooray for Catalonia. We had a haven, Camlo, at the time. That was where we could shout, long live Catalonia, saying, live Barça. So Barça represented for a long time, unfortunately, the feeling, the, the national feeling we have. Les ont changé. Things have changed already. Voudrait, mais ont changé. Maybe, maybe not as we wanted, but they have changed. More than a club today. This slogan has traveled throughout the world. UNICEF, we work with uh, Magno, UNICEF, with UNHCR, AGNO, UNHCR. Grâce à des and thanks to institutions comme, uh, la fondation, such as Nous arrivons the foundation. Dans les petits coins. We managed to get in Et the là, isolated areas. Que je vous présente and let me present you someone. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Camps. Oscar Camps. Un Catalan, 53 ans. 53 years old, entrepreneur. He's got three companies. 650 employees. He left Barcelona two years ago. Pour faire ce qu'il voulait faire, to pour do what he dream, dreamed to do, to fight against injustice. He went to Lesbos. A friend of his and himself, on Oscar the first day, Oscar said, we saved four people. people. Today, there are 300 people, two boats. Open arms, this is his project. More than 300 people have actually saved more than 50,000 people, children. Pregnant women, des personnes qui sont pas responsables people who des are not responsible for amis. the mistakes of the ch of the Oscar adults. Disait, Oscar told me, Jordi, Jordi je parle pas de politique. I'm not talking about politics. Excusez-moi, il me disait. Sorry, he said, I don't care. Why these people have left the country? The only thing I want is to save lives, to save human beings. People are dying. Oscar has been working relentlessly with his teams, anonymously, certainly. You certainly don't know him. He said to me, I'm going to say something to you. When we get closer to the people with our boat and we introduce ourselves, we come from Barcelona. We, can, we come here to help you. They talk about football. They talk about Messi, Suarez, Iniesta. 
C'est facile. It's easy. Il me disait, It's nice. 50% des Africains, 50% of African people, they are for Bassa. Saving lives, that was one thing. And now we go back to the city, to my city, Barcelona, with people working, also to save lives, children's lives, throughout the world, in a hospital center. San Juan de Leo Center, this is a European benchmark hospital for pediatric cancer. The Pediatric Cancer Center is also a landmark. 30 million of investment, this is possible thanks to donations from people who have given anonymously. Companies, individuals. We are going to work together for the Pediatric Cancer Center to, to become a world center to fight against cancer. What does Barça do? What does sports do in the middle of all this? People, children, we have presented a few months ago the project of these small courageous children, boys and girls suffering, fighting with great doctors standing beside them. The small little boy I have in my arms, actually it's a girl, it's Chloe, she was trembling. She wasn't thinking about her illness. She was shivering because uh, she was about to get to know Messi. They had emotions, very special sensations because they were close to their idols. This project, this is thanks to people like Leo Messi, the Leo Messi Foundation. That was my challenge. I didn't talk about uh, football. I'm not talking about the football player. I'm talking about the individual. He's the one who's committed. He doesn't have his uh, T-shirt, his uh, football T-shirt. He's got jeans on. And thanks to these people, the, some of them are no longer with us. Thanks to them, we had a strong campaign. Now I'm going to show you Carolina. She left us. She passed away. But she left hope and strength for all the doctors that she left behind her. She gave way to the foundation of the future cancer center because other children will have another chance. A few weeks ago in Barcelona, Messi received the golden shoe, her fourth golden shoe. He's the greatest goal player, the greatest goal. A few minutes later, the small Leia, nine years old, has leukemia. And he brought a small heart of gold to Leo. This is why sport is so important. This is why when we know people on the pitch, they have another pitch elsewhere, their personal pitch. Leo is here, he's got children, he's sensitive. It is high time to do something out of the pitch. Children like Miguel, like Victor, Felix, Carolina, Erika, they, they have hope. They, they have names, last names, first names. Some passed away in boats in the bottom of the sea. And the worst is, anonymously. Thank you.